Welcome to Fire Engineering's Training Minutes. I'm Frank Lipsky with Engine House Training. And in this video segment, I want to talk to you about the versatility of your bailout equipment. Now, most people know that we can obviously use the front of our equipment with our hook and our descent device to get ourselves out of an elevated structure. But what we also recommend is that you rig your kit with a carabiner on the back of your system, at the very tail end of your rope with, on this case, we have a figure eight on a bite with a safety. And we try to keep that as close to the end of the rope as possible, and we keep a rated carabiner on the end. Now what this allows me to do is go ahead and attach to another firefighter who might not have a kit, and then I can use my hook or my large carabiner on my harness as a descent control device, using carabiner wraps or wrapping the hook to get friction. And then I can lower this end of the rope out the window with that firefighter who is going to the ground. Once they get to the ground, then all I have to do is deploy my kit as normal. My rope's already heading out the window and I have my hook and my system to make sure I get down safely. So now I'm gonna demonstrate how we would use the back end of our kit with the carabiner that I showed you to lower Steve to the ground. So in our scenario, Steve doesn't have a bailout kit. He does have a class two harness and he has a connection point on the D-ring there on his harness. If your harness does not have the D-ring, which some of the older models only came with the large carabiner that you'll see on the front of his gear, you can also attach to that to lower him to the ground. I'm gonna start by reaching into my pocket and grabbing the back of my kit, which is the carabiner with the knot. And I'll go ahead and attach that to Steve. Now, depending on the height of our sill, we may want to get a plumb point. We want the carabiner just over the edge of the sill, and that's gonna give us a good amount of distance so he doesn't get hung up on the sill, and so he doesn't have any kind of a drop distance when he goes out the window. So he could stretch over and get the plumb point, then we would hook to his carabiner. Now my next step, the first way I'm gonna show this is using my large carabiner as a descent device. And then I'll show you how you can use your bailout last chance hook as a descent device as well. The first thing I'll do is deploy my large carabiner. I have it out in front of me now. I wanna take my left hand and I wanna make an L. And that's gonna hold that large carabiner. I reach down and grab my rope that's going to Steve. I pull it tight so that our plumb point is nice and solid. And now I'm gonna reach up while I still maintain that rope in my right hand. I'm gonna open the gate of the carabiner. And now I maintain everything in my right hand. I take the left hand off so that it's now free. I'm gonna pull a little bit of slack here in my system. And that's to make up for the amount of times I'm gonna wrap this carabiner. If we didn't pull this slack out, when we wrapped our carabiner, our plumb point would get shorter and it would be difficult for Steve to transition out the window. So I pull about an arm's length of slack out at the end. You can see the slack here. Now I'm gonna take my left hand and I'm gonna wrap four times around the carabiner. Once I have those wraps done, I'm also going to let the gate go, making sure that my rope doesn't get stuck underneath the gate. Sometimes that can happen. You'll just open the gate back up and get it coming out to your right hand, just as if you were doing a rappel or a lower. Now what I would do is get on the ground at the windowsill and I could position my feet up against the sill to give me pressure because I'm gonna be the anchor to lower Steve to the ground. Now in this case, I'll just go to my knees. I could put this knee out for leverage, take my left hand off. I have about eight to 10 inches of rope in my right hand. And now I'll go ahead and let Steve go out the window. He calls for the lower and I slowly let rope slide through my hand, which is gonna give me the friction to lower him down. We recommend a minimum of four wraps. If you have a firefighter going out that's much larger, you can go to five wraps. This is a good skill that you need to train on so that you're comfortable with the equipment that you have. Now I'm gonna show you a different technique for lowering a firefighter out of the window. In the last segment, we talked about using your large carabiner with carabiner wraps. If you have a bailout kit that has a hook on the end of the system, you can also wrap your hook and use that as your friction device to do the same thing. So just as we did before, I'm gonna deploy first from the back of my kit. I'm gonna get my carabiner and rope with a safety knot, and I'm gonna get a plumb point at the window, and then I'm gonna attach that to Steve's harness. Now I deploy my kit. I have it all the way shortened up. And in my case here, I have a carabiner gate on this specific hook. 
Depending on which hook you have, you'll need to train with this to figure out how much friction and how many wraps you need for each size firefighter. In our case here, we recommend three wraps on this specific hook. Again, it's gonna be a training issue to figure out what you need in your own situation. So what I wanna do here is grab my line that's going to Steve. Again, I'm gonna take a little bit of extra rope to make up for the wraps. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just click that rope into the system with my three wraps. Now that system can extend to the point that we need. And just as before, I'll get an anchor point on the wall and I can go ahead and lower Steve to the ground using the friction within that hook. So once I lower that firefighter to the ground, I'm gonna have slack in my system and I can go ahead and unhook the excess tail rope from my system. And now that rope will be going out the window. That's gonna be the tail rope that's feeding out of my pocket. And I still have my entire kit ready to deploy with my hook at the corner of the window and my tension on this rope with my descent device. Now let's see this technique in real time. Before we go into a real time firefighter lower, I wanna just mention one thing. Communication is very important between the firefighter that's doing the lower and the firefighter that's going out the window. Now, of course, this is gonna be done under very stressful conditions. So the communication that you choose to use should be trained on at your department. You wanna keep the words short and you wanna make it so that it's very easy to understand so that there's no confusion as the firefighter gets out the window. So we're gonna have eye contact here if it's possible to say that we're ready. We're gonna say ready, ready. The firefighter is going to go out. When he gets into position on the other side of the sill, it's very important that I give him a positive lock off. So as soon as he gets out, I want him to feel that he's caught. I don't want to start lowering right away or he'll feel like he's been falling the whole time. Uh, it makes for a bad situation and he tends to start grabbing for things. So we'll want to have that positive lock off. Then he will say lower or go, whichever communication you want to use. And then we lower to the ground at a constant speed. We discussed a couple of different options for lowering a firefighter out of the building, whether you use the large carabiner that's on your harness as a friction device, or if you have a hook on your bailout system, you can also use that. In this evolution, we're gonna show the use of the carabiner that comes on your rescue harness. So the first thing I wanna do when I'm lowering the firefighter down is deploy my system so that I have my carabiner available. Now, as we talked about before, I'm gonna grab my back end of my system, which in my case has the carabiner already on it. And here Mario has a harness that he's already deployed and he's ready to go out the window. So we're going to hook to this D-ring. Now another thing that I can do to make a smoother transition and if conditions allow is I can give him this carabiner and he can get his plumb point over at the windowsill. He's going to reach out and get the carabiner just over the edge of the sill so that he knows his harness will clear the edge of the window. Now, if conditions are poor, you can stay low at the window and you can reach out and get your best guess to be able to clear the sill. Again, we don't have a descent device outside the window in this scenario, so I do have some leeway with giving him slack. Now, I want to go ahead and get in a better position here so that I can get control against the window. He's going to hold the plumb point tight for me, and I'm ready to wrap my hook. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and go through our scenario that we talked about where I take my right hand and open the gate. Now I'm gonna take my left hand off and I have everything in the right hand. I'm gonna pull a little bit of slack here to make up for the wraps that I'm going to do. And now I'm gonna do four carabiner wraps here. On my carabiner. Give me a little bit of slack there, Mario. And we're gonna close. And you can see here I have four full wraps and I have the rope going to my right hand just as if I was doing a rappel. And so now we're ready to go out the window. Mario is going to hook to the system. He's going to verify that his carabiner is locked. And now he's ready to go. I got gotcha. you. Go ahead. More. Now I'm going to let rope slide through my hand. Sometimes that rope can get stuck in your pocket, so you might need to use an additional hand and then continue to get that smooth lower.
So just as we talked about before, once I have the firefighter out, I can deploy my system, and now I can go out the window just as I normally would in my position that we trained on, hook in the left hand, tail rope in the right hand, and my descent device hooked to my harness. Now we're gonna demonstrate using our bailout hook as a friction device to lower another firefighter out the window. So let's see how that looks in real time. Ready? Ready. Go. Gotcha. Ready? So today we looked at two options for lowering a firefighter out of a window. We use the carabiner that's attached to your class 2 harness and we also use the bailout hook that's on your bailout system. Now the key to using any of these devices in these situations is repetition. You need to train and practice as a crew and individually on all of these techniques to make sure you're proficient. I'm Frank Lipsky with Engine House Training. And thank you for watching Fire Engineering's Training Minutes.